Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to validate a JTEX field to enter only the numerical values. So first of all, I will go to the palette and I will take a JTEX field here, drag and drop, and I will delete its text. And I want the user to be able to only enter the numerical values like one, two, three, four, and I want that the user should not be able to enter the characters or the values other than the numerical values so how can i do that i will show you so just select your text field right click it and go to event and go to keys event key and key type okay once again right click your text box event key and key type and just click this key typed event and you will reach to the key type event in the source code okay this one and in here we are going to write our code so right here in the key typed event char c c for example is equal to just copy this event variable in this bracket java dot awt dot event dot key event and just copy this which is automatically generated variable so just copy this evt from here and paste it here and write dot get key care and bracket and bracket closed okay and in the next line we will provide a if condition so write if bracket and these brackets and make a space and in here we are going to provide a condition so write here if not equal to and bracket and in here write character dot is digit and it will automatically take this C so this C is this care value okay and just go after this character C bracket this one and here write this or sign and then once again copy this c care value c and is equal to then write key event dot vk underscore backspace okay and if you want you can just provide the bracket for the clarity and then once again give or sign condition once again c char variable is equal to key event dot vk underscore delete okay so write this so what I have done is I have declared a character variable called C is equal to EVT which is this key event variable which is automatically generated when I press key type event dot get key care and bracket and bracket close and I have provided a if condition and in the if condition I have written the argument if not equal to and then bracket character dot is digit and in the bracket I pass this care value or once again the bracket C is equal to key event dot VK underscore space bracket closed or C is equal to key event dot VK delete and bracket and bracket close 
so what this if condition is checking is when I enter any character or any key when I press any key it checks for the digit or a numerical value and it checks for uh, the backspace key and it checks for the delete key so if you know uh, when I enter some values I should be able to delete them also that's why I have provided this backspace and this delete conditions okay so if this is fulfilled then if this is not fulfilled then I want to consume this key or I want to disable the press key press event so I will just copy this evt once again paste it here dot consume so this consume means it will not be typed it will the key type event will be consumed okay and uh, then now when we run the program run and in here when I type type something I will open a virtual keyboard so you could be able to see it so in here when I type any numerical values like 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 it allows me to enter but when I enter this character values it doesn't take okay so in this way we are restricting the user to enter the character values just the numerical values it takes one more interesting condition you can provide is the to create a beep sound or the sound to restrict the characters so let's see how we can create that that sound so in your code in this little code what you need to do is I will just make it visible in the frame so write this code and after this if condition and above this consume event here write get so get toolkit dot beep so this when you write this code this will create a sound when the character key is pressed but it will not create a sound when you enter any numerical values so let's see how it works now once again I open my virtual key board and when I press any numerical values first of all here I will click it takes the numerical values okay when but when I click any character it will make a sound so listen for it right so that's what we want we want to restrict it and when the user enter any character values it should be alerted or user should be alerted that he enters the wrong values that's why this sound so in this way you can validate a text field to enter only the numerical values I hope you have learned something new this time so please keep watching and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now